Hey, it's Maria here. If we don't know each other, I'm the personality decoder. And I am here um, close to the flood waters at the moment. This is our footbridge here. It's near. It's been under water for a couple of days. Anyway, um, I wanted to jump here today to talk about extroverted feeling and how to nurture extroverted feeling, especially in times of grief or challenges in life. Because with extroverted feeling, we are often very, very attached to how other people are doing and, and a little bit potentially detached from how we ourselves are doing. So I wanted to highlight the needs of the extroverted feeling today and what can kind of make it feel nurtured and then also um, what to avoid, especially when you're having a hard time. So those of you who know me, uh, recently you know that um, We've had to put down one of our uh, beloved horses um, and that is not even a week and a half ago uh, at this stage. So I'm still uh, shoulder deep in the grieving process um, as I'm making this video. Um, and also we've had a huge amount of floods here in Australia, in Eastern Australia. And um, we have actually been We've been uh, without power for, I think, three or four days at this stage. And we're continuing at least until tomorrow, uh, potentially for longer because of the floods. Um, also, um, personally, um, the situation in Europe, in Ukraine, what's going on right now, is causing a high level of anxiety, not just as a, a, a fellow, per, fellow human being, <laughs> a person who feels for the Ukrainian people and the people who are being attacked. Uh, but also as a first responder, um, understanding the, the irreversible consequences of what's going on there right now for many, many families, hundreds, thousands of families. And as a Finn, um, who is also sharing a border with uh, Russia. So a very highly complex um, situation that I'm currently experiencing. And certainly one that if I had introverted feeling, FI, or the ethicist within me, I would, I would have different kinds of uh, struggles that I'm having right now with the extroverted feeling or FE, the unifier. So there are things that happens when you're going through grief or when you're going through difficult situations or um, when you're feeling powerless, like I'm feeling powerless over a couple of uh, things right now. Um, one of the things that extroverted feeling uh, types have, people who have outward facing feeling, is that they're always looking to um, fulfill the needs of other people first and tend to potentially um, neglect their own needs. And this is certainly what's happened um, in my life uh, this um, couple of uh, last week and a half at least. Um, it, it started before uh, the floods and it started before because we were coming up to the euthanasia of our beloved horse. Um, so it's been hard. And what I tend to do as an outward feeler when I'm having a hard time is I go and look for people, other people to help. And um, the challenge is that I don't help myself. So I've reached a point now with all these different challenges uh, that I've experienced in the last seven to ten days that I am absolutely exhausted. I had a um, conversation with a friend of mine who was having a hard time uh, the other day and um, and I couldn't... Because I couldn't speak up for what I needed and because they didn't check um, what I needed, I'm still recovering from just that conversation because that was the conversation, that was the thing that broke this particular camel's back at the moment. Um, so outward feeling is it's highly important with that functionality that we put ourselves into positions where others can see us. 
So what I should have done in that conversation is uh, make it more about me. And what I can do now going forward is um, is ask, reach out to people that I know that uh, are likely to uh, really want to support me without any kind of expectation of me, because that's what I need right now, and ask to have those conversations. So I can ask others to see the struggle that I'm uh, experiencing right now. Um, the other uh, nurturing thing that I can do for myself is ask others um, to keep an eye out for, for what I might need and ask me if I need something or if, you know, how they can make my life easier. That's something that nurtures the extroverted feeling directly because it not just nurtures um, it by um, being acknowledged, it also nurtures it by looking for solutions um, in, in real life situations, like real life practically speaking in the sensory world I have lost one of my best friends I've made the decision to end the life of one of my best friends we have um, you know we have flood waters we don't have power and we have uh, the, the war that's going on in Europe those are very sensory factual things that are happening right now and there's no way out of it those are also potentially practical things that other people could help me with. So that's what I can do. I can ask for people to keep an eye out for me and what I might need and uh, to, be, to be actually willing to, to take action, not just talk about it. Um, what I need to avoid in this situation and what I recommend that others avoid uh, with extroverted feeling, avoid in these situations is... Um, helping others without having good boundaries. So if you're helping others when uh, you don't have good boundaries, like the situation that I'm in right now, I'm, I am aware, painfully aware of the fact that I'm looking for opportunities, because I'm looking for opportunities to connect, then my way of connecting with the feeling is outward facing. So I'm looking to help other people when in fact I, sh I need help. Um, and also, so, so I need to avoid uh, helping others without good boundaries. The second thing I need to avoid is uh, surrounding myself with people who are uh, insular, who are self-focused, because that um, puts me in a position where not only is my extroverted feeling not being um, nurtured, it's not being replenished, uh, it's, it just keeps taking uh, from me in that situation because I'm always looking for those opportunities to help others. So I need to be super careful about who I surround myself with and what I do for other people at this moment. So to recap for extroverted uh, feeling, so FE and what we call the unifier, which for INFJs, I'm an INFJ, is my inner parent. I have an inner parent burnout right now and I need that part of me to be uh, cherished and nurtured and uh, replenished. So, if do you have extroverted feeling? Um, do you know somebody who has extroverted feeling? You know, when they're struggling, they may, might not ask for help. They might be looking to help you more, and that is a red flag. If you have a loved one in your life that's an extroverted feeler, that's a that's a red flag in, in for you to see. Hey. I need to ask this person what they might need, and I need to be a little bit less self-focused. Um, the other thing um, uh, that we can do if we want to be advocates for our extroverted feelers is make sure that they have nice experiences, positive experiences. You know, a smile goes a long way at the moment. A smile right now, for me, would go a very long way. So, speaking from the heart, I hope you extroverted feelers out there are having a good day. And if not, look after yourselves and those who love extroverted feelers. Do something positive for them today. They might need it and not tell you. All right. I'll talk to you at the next video. I hope you'll have a good day wherever you are in the world. Look after yourself and stay safe.